presents you with sea snakes and crates. Takes us across thousands of square miles. And our first stop is one of the hundreds of islands that make up the nation of Fiji. And that's where we're headed. It's a really remote island right out in the middle of the Pacific. We've got Australia over there, Hawaii over there. We're in the middle. And apparently, this is Crate, capital of the world. Sea crates range the oceans from Fiji in the South Pacific through Papua New Guinea and South China Sea and the shores of Southeast Asia. Crates are amphibious, well adapted for the water, yet still at home on land where they spend vital parts of their life. They move like land snakes and their flattened tail is perfect for swimming. It shows they spend most of their lives at sea. Have a look at these! Spectacular! I'm fair smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and these are sea crates. Very unlike sea snakes, these crates come on land. They lay their eggs, they shed their skin, they bask, they hide, they retreat right here on land. I'm right fair smack in the tropics and they're thick. They're absolutely everywhere, all over the place, crawling up the beach day and night. And these girls here, they're grabbing. They're going to lay their eggs. Crates. They're highly venomous. One bite and I'd be dead 20 times over. But they just don't bite. They're absolutely gorgeous. There's more of them. They're everywhere. Talk about placid. They are incredibly placid. You can just go face to face with them. And they don't hurt, they just don't bite. They just won't bite. Look at this. She's a good girl. There's not too many snakes I'd do that with. But these sea crates are so placid, they are the most placid animal in the ocean. Are you gonna come up here? Look at us. Only someone as experienced as Steve should handle them like this. They may be good-natured, but never forget, sea crates have some of the deadliest venom on Earth, and you should leave them well alone. Have a look at this. Tracks. One, two, three, four, five. They're everywhere. The place is thick with them. They're going in and coming out, doing their business, back out into the water, foraging after they've laid their eggs. Every track leads to a snake. Look at this big girl up here. There's hundreds of them here. They aggregate. And that's why there's hundreds. They just, this is the beach, this is the spot. Everywhere you look, there's just one snake after another. It's starting to get a little hot now, so they're all gonna just about made it up into the shadows and cool them down. Like many species, crates gather in aggregations at certain times of the year. We still don't know for sure why, but the best scientific evidence suggests it's part of their breeding cycle. You can see the coloration of this one. It's got a more sky blue, lighter colored blue, and that's because this one's gonna shed its skin. Have a look at its eyes. They're smoky color. And they're just starting to clear up now. She's gonna shed her skin in a minute. The smoky eyes are caused by a thin layer of skin that's starting to separate. And when the snake sheds, the eyes will again be perfectly clear. Steve knows just how far he can go with reptiles, and since he's no threat, the sea crate won't bother him. Just the same, you have to know when to let go. Yep. <laughs> 